Many people are not aware that the handheld calculator was not invented until the 1970s. Before then, engineers and other people who needed to do complex calculations had to depend on devices like this. It's not generally known, but the Apollo flights to the moon, the first manned flights to the moon, were conducted without any handheld calculators at all. There were large land-based computers that assisted the uh, flight, but mostly the calculations were done using a device like this. This is called a slide rule. Most slide rules ran in a line, and this one goes around in a circle. It's called a circular slide rule. The characteristics of slide rules are that they have two scales, and that the two scales can slide beside one another like this. In the circular slide rule, you rotate the central disk. In a linear slide rule, there were two rulers that slid beside each other. The peculiarity of this device is that the scale is not linear, and if I move around to larger numbers than 10 and 11, you can see that the gap between 18 and 19 is narrower than the gap between 10 and 11. This is because the scale is marked out logarithmically. The whole point of this calculator, this device, is that by adding distances, and by distances I mean the distance around the scales, you can achieve multiplication. This is using the law of addition of logarithms, which tells you that adding logarithms achieves multiplication. Just to work through an example of the sort of thing that this device is used for, I will do a calculation that a pilot would do if they were flying an aircraft that has an airspeed of 115 knots. A knot is a nautical mile per hour. On the centre scale, we will pick an hour as being 60 minutes. So it's currently set 60 is opposite 10. In order to set 115 knots as the true airspeed, we will move the 60 to match 115. Once that's set, the pilot can leave the device like that and simply read off any calculation that he or she wants. So if, for example, the uh, pilot wants to know how far they're going to get in 70 minutes, they look at the 70 and the inner scale becomes a time scale and the outer scale becomes a distance scale. In 70 minutes, therefore, this aircraft will travel about 134 nautical miles. In 80 minutes, about 153. If you want to do the calculation the other way around, which implies division, you simply work the device the other way around. So, for example, if you wish to know how long it's going to take you to travel 90 nautical miles, you find 90 on the distance scale and there is your answer, 47 minutes. So if a particular flight is going to be a distance of 90 nautical miles, you can expect that the flight will take 47 minutes. This, therefore, is an example of logarithms in action.